All this week, we've been featuring scholars on the Cybos Talent Accelerator route, known as the STAR program. The scheme is aimed at empowering professional women, accelerating their knowledge, skills and self-confidence as future leaders in the financial industry. And for the last look at this year's stars, we can speak to Sheila He, Director, Trade Portfolio and Capital Management at ANZ, and Jasmine Turner, Relationship Manager, Treasury Services at BNY Mellon. Guys, welcome to Cybos TV. Thanks Thank for you. being our final grouping of guests yeah. of the whole week. What's it's it? quite sad when you think about it, really. Um, Sheila, I'll start with you. Uh, Cybos is drawing to a close, of course, after four jam-packed days. What will be the key takeaways for you? Well, I'll answer your question in two parts. So on Cybos, the conference itself, it's very clear that organizations all across the globe are heavily investing in advanced technologies, and not only to invent new things, but also to manage the risks that are associated with new technologies. So it's been really fascinating to see all the advancements that are pursued by different banks. And um, it's really broadened my perspective and also made me really excited about the future of banking. On the STAR program, it has been so amazing to spend like the last few days with amazing ladies. And it has really made me realize that diversity is not a one-person goal. It needs communal effort. We spoke a lot about building our tribe and having like people who will support you along the way because it needs to be that way. Like Without having everyone um, along the journey, then we won't ever achieve diversity. So it's not about leaving anyone behind, but bringing everyone along. Jasmine, needless to say, it's been a huge week, a massive variety of sessions, of subjects, of events to choose from. Yeah. Uh, what have been your highlights? Um, I mean, it is, as Sheila said, it was, it's amazing finding out about the industry um, and what's happening with all of the different companies throughout the globe. However, my highlight would have been the networking opportunities and, and meeting people. I mean, I work for the Bank of New York, but I live in Melbourne. Mm. So um, meeting all of my colleagues and senior leaders in person here and in New York, and then also with banks around the globe. Like, I've really enjoyed that um, and speaking to people in person instead of on Teams. So. Absolutely. Yeah, that's definitely a highlight. Even going back live last year, yeah. it was so nice to see people so good. again. And the continuation of that has yeah. been great. Uh, Sheila, you're here as a Cybos star. Uh, talk us through how the opportunities provided by the program are going to help you professionally. Well, firstly, it really gave me hope that the industry really takes diversity and inclusion really seriously. Obviously, each of the organisations that we work for has invested in every single participant. Um, as future leaders um, to participate in the program and to experience cybos generally. So we learn so much about how to build self-confidence and then we also hear about the challenges um, that er like each other actually face on a day-to-day -day basis. And just listening from everyone's experience, uh, listening from the mentors, the alumni, it made me realize that I'm not alone. Mm -hmm. and it really made me feel that, okay, I can do this too. Mm. And Jasmine, uh, I, I hear you agreeing there uh, between you. Uh, talk me through what the Star Scholarship has, has brought you as a, as a high potential uh, professional within your industry. Um, well, I think that it's definitely, as Sheila said, it's made you realize that any sort of doubt that you had or any insecurities that you had um, is not just felt by your peers, it's also felt by senior leaders that came in and spoke to us. Um, we had some amazing women and men um, mentor us and speak to us over the last few days. And it was nice to hear that it doesn't matter who you are or what level you are. Um, it's not gender specific. Everyone has these, these issues and it's how you deal with it and what you do with it that will help you move forward and mm -hmm. stop to sort of move on from it and not hold on to those insecurities. They're just gonna be there. We've just gotta work out yeah. how to keep going. Uh, speaking about keeping going, Sheila, we've talked about a lot this week, how the industry has become increasingly aware of the need for greater diversity. Uh, what changes would you like to see? It's, you're totally right. Like it's, it's been so promising to see the, the focus on diversity more and more these days. What I'd like to see changing is for diversity to be business as usual. Mm. So for it to not be another awareness or like a goal to achieve. I think uh, bring, like, be, coming aware of the need of it is great. It's a good start. 
However, like to really achieve diversity, actions speak louder than words. So organizations need to incorporate diversity as part of their strategy and as part of their day-to-day -day operations and commit to giving everyone equal opportunity. Because studies have shown that diverse workplace actually leads to greater productivity and greater innovation. This week we have been reminded about how important it is to continue to innovate. So if everyone realizes that diversity also brings benefits such as innovation, it makes sense for everyone to commit to pursuing greater diversity. Mm. Jasmine, I'd like to get your opinion on this as well. How can financial organisations be sort of leading from the front where this is concerned? Yeah, I think we've already done a lot, as Sheila said, um, and to have it as BAU would be, you know, the ideal world. Um, I have a, a personal opinion on this as well. Um, as a mother of two boys and a daughter, um, I get concerned sometimes that we may go too far the other way. So I think that we just need to be supportive of human beings and not pull anyone down, like in the process of pushing mm. someone else up, no matter about their gender. Um, I just, it, it frightens me to think that my boys, when they're men, could walk into a workplace and be judged on being a man before anyone knows who they are. Mm. Um, and yeah, I just think we need to be a little bit careful of that. And it's a fine line. I think we just need to support each other. Doesn't matter what gender you are, so. That's a good message. Uh, Sheila, much of Cybos has focused on payments, but I believe you work in trade finance, don't you? Uh, so how does this year's Cybos theme, collaborative finance in a fragmented world, uh, relate to what you do day by day? So one of my primary responsibilities is on risk distribution for trade and supply chain finance assets of ANZ, where we work collaboratively with other financial institutions to support our customer. So in the past, uh, this kind of collaboration has not been as common, but as our customers' financing needs continue to evolve, it's great to see that financial institutions work collaboratively for the benefit of the customer, which really ties to this year's Cybos team. And Jasmine, in an era of disruptive change, uh, mm -hmm. financial institutions are required to successfully navigate new risks and opportunities. Uh, can you tell us how incumbent banks should respond to competition from fintechs? Um, I think the competition historically has been uh, a little bit of a scary thing, but I think that we've all evolved from that now and, and we look as fintechs as, I mean, we bank fintechs, we partner with them, um, we invest in them. And I know at BNY we've done some recent um, collaborations with fintechs to produce some amazing products and offerings to our clients. Um, so in that sense, I think that it's a good thing and it's pushed the, the industry forward at a faster pace. So. Mm. Yeah. Well, they've been in the right place for collaboration at this year's Cybos. Hopefully some good meetings uh, and, and some strong potential for the next 12 months to be, uh, to be as successful as the last one. Guys, yes. thank you so much for joining us on the, on the sofa at Cybos thank TV you. as we wrap things up. Um, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this week in Toronto as much as the rest of us have. Uh, that's Sheila He, Director, Trade and Portfolio and Capital Management at ANZ. And Jasmine Turner, Relationship Manager, Treasury Services at BNY Mellon. Thanks again, guys. Thank you. Thank you for having us.